Hi everyone, this video is going to be of live swatches and a first impressions review for MAC's brand new Aladdin collection. As many of you will know, the new live action version, I guess you would say, of the Aladdin movie is going to be released soon. And in anticipation of that, MAC has done this collection. That hits theaters May 24th. This collection is currently available on MAC Cosmetics website. I would expect that it may also be available through places like Nordstrom in the coming days. So if you're interested in seeing what is worth checking out from this collection, then stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. The handle's in the description box, as well as a link to where you can find these items if you'd like to purchase, and a link to Ebates to make sure that you can get some cash back. MAC does run a 3% cash back through Ebates, so that's a really easy way to spend a little less money on your purchase. And I'm going to link one of the recent videos in the upper right-hand corner. If you're curious about the brand and the Inky List, a new affordable skincare brand available through Sephora. This video will review all of the items in the line that are available, and I will do comparisons where there are comparisons to do between the Inky List and the Ordinary. So if you're at all interested in that, go check that video out. All right, let's get looking at Max Aladdin Collection. So the description on this says, Manifest your magic with the Disney Aladdin Collection by Mac highlighting the self-determination and confidence of Princess Jasmine. This wish-fulfilling collaboration features smoky metallic and desert shades that reflect Jasmine's strong-willed beauty. Discover a new world of limited edition color, transformed in specially designed opulent packaging inspired by the rich patterns and vibrant hues of Agrabah. So obviously the packaging for this collection is special and limited edition. It is mostly gold accented by a kind of turquoisey teal color. And what's interesting about this collection is I think for the first time MAC is allowing you the option to buy everything in the collection all at once. Now it doesn't look like you get a price discount for doing so. I added up all the items individually and it comes out to $310 which is what they are selling the Disney Aladdin collection collector's vault at. So it's just more of a convenience factor so you don't have to add, I guess, each individual item. All right, let's first look at the two limited edition powder blushes in this collection. These retail for $35 and, and as you can probably tell, everything in this collection is going to be limited edition. So MAC describes these as oversized blushes in two shades. This shade here is called Your Wish Is My Command and this shade is Always One Jump Ahead. So first taking an angled powder brush, we'll swatch Your Wish Is My Command. And this is a deep golden brown shade. Obviously these are labeled as powder blushes, but I think they'll, for most people, be appropriate as bronzers and as a highlight respectively. This has fantastic pigmentation. Very rare that I don't think I need to put a second layer on a powder, but I'm just gonna leave it at this one layer. Very smooth finish also. And I think it's fairly matte. I do think there's a very small amount of shimmer there technically, but it looks pretty matte under this lighting. Next swatch is always one jump ahead. And this is described as a gold with gold shimmer. It's a pretty, pretty pale, pale, pale gold. I don't even know if I would have described this as a gold. It's more of like a champagne with gold shimmer. Also good color there, um, a nice refined sheen. I don't think you would need a second layer, practically speaking, but we'll do a second layer just for the camera. Here's a second layer applied. Applies super smoothly and easily, blends out very effortlessly. Okay, so there are your two powder blush shades applied with a powder brush. And mostly for the sake of comparison, we will do finger swatches. This is your wish is my command, and this is always one jump ahead. Next, let's look at the Nine Pan Eyeshadow Palette. It is called the Princess Jasmine Palette. It also retails for $35 and it includes nine smoky metallic and desert shades. Here are the nine shades up close. As always, I will swatch these with an eyeshadow brush from Sigma. 
and I will swatch them over eyeshadow primer. The first shade we are swatching is called Riff Raff. And this is described as a mauve, which I do see kind of a mauve tint, but I think this is much more of a brown shade and it has a matte formula. Second is Rags to Riches. And this is a pale gold frost color with a frost finish. Third is No Ordinary Lamp. And this is a light rose color with a matte formula. Fourth is Princess Jasmine. This looks so pretty in the pan. And this is a duochrome shade with blue green and a red undertone. And this has a frost finish, which means it's pretty flaky in the shimmer. It also seems to be kind of lifting on the swatch, so you might need to use a base for this color. Agrabah is the fifth color, and this is a cool rose shade. I think it's a pretty deep bronzy rose. It says it has a frost finish. Sixth is Abu. And this is a plum shade with red pearl. This has a Velux pearl formula. Seventh is Creative Copper. Described as a peachy gold with gold shimmer. Do not see any peach in this color really. Eighth is Live the Genie Life. Described as a gunmetal silver. This has a frost finish. And ninth is Shadowy Lady Permanent Shade. And this is a blackened plum with a matte formula. All right, there are your nine shades from the Princess Jasmine palette. Overall, I'm really impressed by the quality, the pigmentation, the smoothness and evenness that these apply with. That Princess Jasmine shade, um, as you can probably tell from the swatch, seems to kind of drop off the skin. I'm going to apply it with the fingers, see if we can get a different effect. So actually first, let me do a swatch with a dampened brush. Wow. So I picked up the product on a dry brush and then spritzed it with you can use basically water. Mine's technically a mixing medium, just meaning it has a little bit of glycerin in there. So pretty. And then right next to it, I'll just swatch it with my finger. This helps press the shimmer into the skin so that it doesn't fly away like it did on a dry brush. But it's still more translucent when you do it that way. I think this actually would be a beautiful topping color. So if you put a black base down, even a white base or a purple base, it would still look really beautiful. But if you wanted to use it just the powder itself, I think the foiling method is definitely the way to go. I'm actually really curious to see how this applies over a brace. So I put a um, shimmering golden brown eyeshadow pencil as a base and I'm applying Princess Jasmine on top. Of course, this color will change a little bit just depending on what color your base is. But as you can see, it adheres a lot more smoothly. It's not flying away. And it just looks really, really pretty. Okay, so here are your three alternative methods of application of the Princess Jasmine shade. There is also this pigment. It retails for $24 and it is in the shade Rose. And I don't know if this is a shade that is actually available in the permanent line already. If you do know, please leave a comment and let the rest of us know. So as with all MAC pigments, there is a screw top and just a little stopper in there. You pull that off and you just gotta be careful in terms of the pigment getting everywhere. Here is up close what the shade Rose looks like. And Rose is described as a rose with copper sparkle. Again, you can use pigments pretty uh, in pretty versatile ways uh, as long as they're 
the shimmering kind. The mattes are more limited. This is with a dry brush. Very pigmented and opaque, as a pigment should be. Now here's the swatch with the eyeshadow brush spritzed with the mixing medium, so using the foiling method. Not too much of a difference in terms of the color or the finish, but it is more smooth in texture, a little more liquid metallic. And here it is with the finger swatch. I have trouble getting my finger into that jar, so sorry if this swatch is a little bit messy. And also, I will say that the nine pan eyeshadow palette, those pans are small, so just keep that in mind. Takes a little more finesse to get your brush in there and coat it evenly. So, sorry about that black sheep of a swatch at the end there, but here is what the finish will look like. Then we have three lip glasses. These retail for $19 each. Here is Diamond in the Rough, Magic Carpet Ride, and Jewels on Jewels. And for these, you get a slanted doe foot applicator. Diamond in the Rough is a gold with gold and pink pearl, super shimmery. Magic Carpet Ride is a light pink with pink pearl. And Jewels on Jewels is a warm pink with gold shimmer. All right, there are three lip glasses swatched. And last, we have four lipsticks, and these retail for $20 each. Here is Whole New World, Friend Like Me, Raja, and yes, my lipstick did come crushed like that, and Princess Incognito. So first is Friend Like Me. This is a cool neutral beige. Princess Incognito is a neutral pinky rose. This has a matte finish. The first shade had an amplified cream finish. Whole New World is a bright blue pink. This has a matte finish. And Raja is a muted red berry, also with a matte finish. Okay, three matte finishes, one amplified cream, four lipstick shades. All right, there you have Max Aladdin collection. The lip glosses and lipsticks are very standard. The lip glosses will be very moisturizing, but they are a little more sheer in color. The ones in this collection actually seem to have more noticeable shimmer and color to them than I typically feel like I see with collections. And as far as the lipsticks, they all apply very nicely and smoothly without being too drying with the matte formula. When it comes to the entire collection, I actually am pretty impressed by the quality. I think given that they seem to have focused on Princess Jasmine being the inspiration as opposed to the entire movie or all of the characters, I think they did it justice. Although I do have a longing for some sort of color that is drawn from her clothing, that like turquoisey shade, which seems to really be missing. They only kind of hint to that in the packaging, but I really wish that they had had some sort of maybe pigment that was in that shade. But other than that, I think the quality is very nice. That nine pan eyeshadow palette is great quality. The powder face products I am very impressed by in terms of pigmentation quality and smoothness. I don't think the lip glosses or lipsticks are as exciting, but they are solid quality also. So please leave me a comment. Are you going to watch the new Aladdin movie? What do you think about the color story for this MAC collection? Is there something missing that you would have really liked to see? Or any other thoughts that you have? I hope this video was helpful to you if you were interested in purchasing some things from this collection. If you have a couple seconds, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.